Hi guys, this is my 780 Ti Hall of Fame being water cooled by the XSPC Raystorm Universal GPU block. So obviously you can see in the dark how it looks. Currently I am doing a leak test so nothing is connected to my motherboard. As you can not really see but I've put like a power supply jumper cable there so I can start the power supply without plugging it into the motherboard. So, yeah, I'm doing a bit of leak testing. As you can see, the all-in-one I'm using is the Trident all-in-one. Uh, I bought it from PC Case here in Australia. It is a pretty reliable uh, CPU cooler. Well, it's meant to be a CPU all-in-one, but I've obviously hooked it up to my graphics card. So, I haven't tested the performance of it yet. I haven't even tested if my graphics card actually works. Still, I really hope I haven't stuffed anything up. But it is looking uh, quite nice there. I don't see any leaks. I've had all these paper towels everywhere to test if it's been leaking in. Nothing has really leaked, so that's a good sign. Uh, the tr I bought basically the same tubing that came with it. I'm pretty sure it was like three over eight slash half fittings or something. And I bought some EK compression fittings. I won't bore you with that. But it will be interesting to see what sort of temperatures I get compared to the air cooling on this card when overclocked. And if it gives me much overclocking headroom, so that'll be cool. I'll show you what I'll show you what it looks like in the light. So as you can see, it's not as lit up now, but definitely looks nice. I'll obviously manage all the cables when I actually build it properly. I've had a leak testing for about an hour and a half now, I reckon it's time to hook it up. So, uh, that's the coolant I used. I used the EK Coolant UV Blue. Uh, I'll show you my graphics card heatsink that I took off. This is the Hall of Fame. It is a quite nice heatsink, but to go water cooling, obviously, you've got to remove it. So, I, I reckon the white PCB looks nice. Unfortunately, I couldn't really fit the back plate on there, but I'm still quite satisfied with that nice looking white PCB. So it sort of goes with the car scheme. Unfortunately, my motherboard is red. It is the Fatality Performance the Z77. It's not the greatest motherboard, but definitely does its job and it's pretty reliable considering what I've done to it. Alright, so let's see if this PC boots. I'm going to have to plug everything into the motherboard now and see if it works. Hi everyone, it's Baldrick here, and continuing on from where I left off, the only issue I really had was sort of a leak that came from the cap on my reservoir slash pump slash CPU heatsink. So I didn't screw it in properly and it was leaking a bit. Luckily it didn't damage anything because I wasn't running the PC fully on because it was leak testing. And I managed to uh, fix the leak so it's not leaking anymore because I didn't screw it in properly originally as now I have. So as you can see, uh, I'm using the Trident all-in-one CPU cooler and I've expanded it to uh, also cool my graphics card which is a 780 Ti Hall of Fame 3 gigabyte edition. So as you can see the black screws on the PCB is housing the XSPC Raystorm GPU block which is doing a fairly good job at cooling. I was very impressed by this. Unfortunately, it doesn't call the VRMs or memory, but luckily the Hall of Fame has uh, decent heat sinks on it already, so I don't have to really worry about that. It would have been nice to be able to fit the back plate, but unfortunately I couldn't. If you're wondering about the radiator that comes with a Trident all-in-one, it is a 240mm, so it's decent at calling the CPU and a GPU if you want to add it in the future. And by the way, if you're adding more than one GPU, you might want to use another uh, radiator just for extra cooling, but for what I'm doing, I'm pretty sure the 240mm radiator should be fine. And it's running at low fan speed, so my system is a lot quieter than it was originally with its two pretty loud graphics card fans. Well, they weren't that loud, but they're only loud when you play games. So I'll show you what the actual performance is like on my computer screens. Alright, so as you can see here, 
I'm running some Battlefield 4 just to show that I'm actually playing. I'll move around a bit and shoot that. There you go, I destroyed some wooden blocks there. And I'll show you my graphics card temp. So this has been running for about, I don't know, 15 minutes. I've been running the test range. On my GPU temperature, I'm getting 58 degrees Celsius. Don't forget, it is summit in Australia and the room temperature is really hot because I don't really have proper air conditioning in here. So it's about 27, 26 degrees Celsius in this room. And I've overclocked the 780 Ti Hoff to 1249 megahertz. Well, I just put plus 100 and GPU boost takes care of the rest. Uh, obviously it says zero RPM there for the fan speed. That means I've obviously unplugged the fan to the graphics card. And if you're wondering about my CPU I've got running, it's the 3570K. I've overclocked it to 4.6 gigahertz. And that's running at about uh, 76 degrees, 75 degrees for most cores. It hit a maximum of 80. That may seem pretty hot, but to be honest, it's perfectly fine because it can take up to 105 degrees before being thermally throttled, which is the TJ Maxx. So yeah, it's great that it runs Battlefield 4, no issue. Uh, the temps are pretty decent. I could put the CPU down a bit, but I'm quite happy with my uh, CPU overclock I got. I was originally running it at 4.8 GHz, but that was way too hot. It was hitting near 90 degrees or like 89 degrees, which is basically 90 degrees Celsius. And I don't think that is perfectly healthy for a CPU that is, I guess, two years old anyway. So you don't want to stuff up your uh, CPU. So yeah, that's basically it. It's running pretty good temps with the standard 240mm radiator that comes with Trident all-in-one. So I'll show you the PC water cooling again and that will probably conclude my video. So there it is, it's running very quiet and nicely. So tell me what you think in the comments below of this video. Are you going to attempt anything like this or have you ever considered water cooling? Because the all-in-one, if you're not adding a graphics card block, is very easy to install. It's just like installing a, I guess, any CPU heatsink, but adding the graphics card gets a bit tricky because you need to make sure you've got the right fittings, got the right graphics card block, and luckily the XSPC Race Storm actually fit on my 780 Ti, which I was pretty happy about because I sort of took a risk when I was buying it without it saying it supports it. So that's really it, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, tell me if you're going to attempt anything like this with similar components, and I'd like to hear, and I'll probably respond. So thanks for watching, have a nice day.